Hey Biscuits, how's it going? It's Tara. How are you? I've been so bold. I haven't been doing any live streaming, um, but I have a huge excuse. I've been working super duper hard with um, putting together the platform called The Biscuit Factory. So it's up and running. I've, I'm, I'm really quietly opening the doors this week. Um, but Gary, you'll hear all about it next week anyway in, in, in a bigger way. But um, just to say that's why I haven't been live streaming that much. Um, and I kind of miss it, actually. I was really enjoying it there for ages. So I'm back on the whole live streaming thing. Um, and today I want to just remind you of something. Um, and this is something that you know, loads of people forget about actually with their websites. I know I'm looking at the wrong camera there now or I'm looking at the wrong place altogether. Um, and it's your about page on your website. Now, I will leave a link to a blog I wrote on it um, not long ago. And there's a little checklist thingy that you can grab in there as well if you, if you fancy doing a bit of work. But I wanted to just mention in a live stream because... It's an area of your website that most people forget about and really you shouldn't forget about the about page. Now, I know there's a big emotional kind of link with the about page. Again, it's the confidence of talking about yourself. Oh, what am I going to say? Do I say me? Do I say her? It? Like, I mean, there's so many questions around the about page, right? But keep this in your mind. Um, the about page one is, is like... After the home page, it's the most visited page on people's websites. So I recommend you use it like a sales page, not really. Hi, my name is Tara and this is what I do. I'm and I went to school in. It's not your CV. It's not your really people don't. They do want to know about you, but they, here's the nugget. They want to know what you can do for them and this is all about marketing, lads. Yes, you have to build yourself around what you do. People want to buy from people they know, like, trust. Okay, that's the, that's the underlying. But the real nugget is people want to know what value you can bring to them. And the about page has to kick off like that. In straight away, I'm tired from Biscuit. I can help you do this, you know? So if you keep that in your mind, and you might revisit your about page and just... Think to yourself, okay, how can I use this in a different way? Because the traffic is going there. When they do come, they go here first, right? Um, so you really want to use it smartly. So I'm going to put the link below the, this video. I'm going to put the link below and you can grab your checklist and read the little blog bit that I did. It's not a, it's like, take, it's a very short blog actually. So it'll just give you an, an outline of what, what I'm kind of banging on about today. Oh, it's yay! I love live streaming. Like I so love it. It's definitely I'm I've missed it definitely. On that note, if you have thought about live streaming, I'd really think about it too. And someone said to me the other day, "Oh, vomit! Like I can't cope being in front of the camera." But here's the thing: you don't have to get in front of the camera. Why don't you? You know, you can set up your your phone, whatever, and show you making something. In a live stream or setting up your workspace for the day or you know something interesting and I always think people are much more interested in the process of how you do things rather than just the finished product like if you're going to be running a workshop or anything do a live stream to your page um I, I, if it's going to be an ongoing thing you know that's how you can sell and showcase what you're doing with with people live stream it it's 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 a really great way of connecting people to what you do so if you're um if you're thinking about it if you're running any workshops or anything or if you're doing any live events or even just your work think about capturing like they don't have to be long like just even five minutes or something capturing what you do anyway i'm going totally off the point of about pages my main nugget for today, go visit your about page. Use it like a sales page. I'll leave the link below for the checklist you can grab in the blog post. I'll leave the link for the blog post. You can have a wee read. And if you need somebody to have a look over your about page, shoot me an email or post the link to your about page in here and I can give my, my feedback on it. I'd be happy to help. Okay, have a great day and a yay for live streaming. Bye, keep creative. See ya.